Hello everybody and welcome to another Crochet with Chris tutorial. Of course I am your host Chris and I'm going to be showing you how to do a simple slip stitch chain one edging today. For any edging that I do, unless I'm told differently by a pattern that I'm following, um, I go around the piece that I'm going to edge with a row of single crochet. Um, as you can, I don't know if you can see very clearly here, but you can see that the stitches are now defined all the way around. I'm not left to guess where I'm putting my hook. Now if I'm going to change colors and do the edging in a different color, the first row of single crochet or the first row of the edging I always do in the main color of the piece. And that again is to make it look even. If you add another color going in you might have a jaggedy or a more jaggedy looking edge. And we don't want that. So this is a swatch that I created and as I pointed out I have done the single crochet row all the way around. So now every stitch is defined for my edging. This is a very simple edging. I've used it for baby blankets when the parents were not finding out the gender of the baby. I also use it to edge hats and I've used it to edge my soap saver bags and things like that. So it's a very versatile edging. So once you finish your single crochet around, you should be ending in a corner because that's where your piece ended. So to start the edging, I'm going to do a chain one. And then in the next stitch next to that chain one, to the, to the left of it, I'm going to do a slip stitch, which is just to go through the stitch, yarn over, and draw through the piece and the loop that's on the hook. So to do it again, we're going to chain one. Then in the next stitch, we will do a slip stitch. Okay, so we'll do a chain one again. Then we're going to do another slip stitch in the next stitch. Now the chain one does increase the piece by one stitch, but then you're coming into that next stitch and doing a slip stitch, so what you're doing is really creating more of a ruffled pattern. You're not actually going to be increasing the width of the piece any. So let's go ahead and do a few more just so you can see the effects of this edging. And it is a one-to-one -one for every slip stitch. It's in every single crochet. You don't need to worry about doing anything special with the corners other than going into every stitch. So let's go ahead and pull my hook out here since we can kind of see what it's doing. This gives me, let me put my fingers up here. See the ruffly effect that you are getting? It definitely finishes off the piece. Um, a dishcloth, that's another thing you can see easy. Now what I want to point out is the back side. The back side of this ruffle is very plain. So whenever you're working this edging, the front side of the piece should always be facing you. And then you're going to get this lovely little ruffled edge on, uh, on your piece. So that is a very simple slip stitch chain one edging. Thank you for watching.